This is Longer Match Mobile, the sports analysis app you can use from the convenience of your smartphone or tablet. Downloading and registering. Getting Longo Match Mobile is very simple. You just have to look for the app in your App Store or Google Play Store and download it for Android or iOS. Once the download is complete, Longo Match displays a tutorial to help you use the app. To open the app, we have to use the same email and password we use for registering. Longomatch has two types of licenses, premium and freemium. Once inside the app, we select the sport we'll be working with. In this case, we select football. The discipline can only be selected once, but later we'll be able to configure the panel for different sports if we need to. Syncing devices To sync our mobile device with our computer, we need them both to be connected to the same Wi-Fi. We receive a connection request in our computer, we accept it, and then we receive a 4-digit code that we have to insert in our smartphone or tablet. To transfer the teams, panels and projects from our computer to our mobile, we click on the three dots we see on the upper right corner. Once we've done this, we click on Transfer. What we have transferred is already available on our mobile. Creating Teams We include the team's shield, its full name and the colors of its uniform. Keep in mind that if you choose white for your team's uniform, the number of a player won't be visible. Now we open the template to edit players. When we click on a player, we can add name, nick, number, nationality, height, weight, email and photograph. Once we're done entering this information for all the players, our team will be ready. Analysis Panels To create an analysis panel, we have to pick a name for a panel, choose the events we want in it, and then add the field image. Once we're editing, we'll be able to add or remove events. Now we have to assign a name to each button. In this case, we select an automatic button, providing a starting and ending time for the event. We can use different colors to visualize easily different categories. Now we keep adding events. We manually create events by clicking at the beginning and the end of the action we want to tag. We add a score button to see the results. 
We now add a button for tagging red and yellow cards. We can also use another button to describe the actions we see. In this case, we can describe them as success or failure. Last, we may include a time button, which will help us track ball possession for each team. Our analysis panel is now ready. We may come back to it later, as many times as we need, to add or remove buttons. Creating virtual projects We select the virtual camera option. We select the two teams playing the match, local and visitor. We pick the analysis panel we'll work with. We include all the project information, competition, date and season. As we can see, virtual camera projects lack the video. These projects consist of tagging the actions we are watching live on the field or on TV. We select the actions taking place in the match. Once we've done this, we pick the team and the player carrying the mount. Once the match is over, we click on Stop and Save to save our project. Syncing projects with the computer and adding a video file. To transfer a project to the computer, we click on Transfer. Long match desktop will require authorization to proceed with the transfer. If we open the project file on long match desktop, we'll see that it's already there. To open the project, we will need the video footage from the match we've analyzed. Once we uploaded this video, we will see how our tags and the action in the video match. Thanks for watching this video. Happy tagging!